The name Sailor Town is a generic term and certainly isn't unique to Belfast, but it does seem to have a special resonance here, an echo of a bygone heyday. It was established in the 1800s to serve the burgeoning docks just north of the town centre on the west bank of Belfast Lock. Number one dock at Clarendon was built between 1790 and 1800 and before long the area surrounding it was a hotbed of maritime activity. And much like other Victorian cities, the official buildings that sprang up to serve this new trade were imposing, whereas those that housed the heartbeat of the area, the people that worked and lived there, were rather less so. In its heyday, Sailor Town housed thousands of dock workers and their families, much like the rest of Inner Belfast, in tightly packed rows of terraced houses. It was never a prosperous area, but it was an interesting one, with the diversity of new arrivals adding a little exoticism that the rest of Belfast was less likely to enjoy. The residents were united by more than divided them, and it was a mixed area with little sectarian trouble. Sailor Town's decline began with the Belfast Blitz of 1941, and then in the 60s when the M2 was built right through the centre of the district, and now most of us probably don't even realise we're driving through it when we leave the motorway. Most residents moved out to new housing estates and the terraces on the likes of Ship Street, Marine Street and Nile Street were gone forever along with those names. Nobody would have pretended that these were grand or well-built houses, but their paucity now gives them a value that they never had financially. Now only these four original houses on Garmoyle Street remain. A colleague who once lived in one of them when she first moved to Belfast told me that the house had subsided so badly that when she awoke one morning her bed had rolled from one side of the room to the other. Where there are four houses there are also four pubs, two of which are still open, coronavirus aside, and two of which I hope will someday return in some shape or form. The American Bar has been a Sailor Town fixture since the 1860s, while McKenna's was formerly known as Buffer McMahon's and before that the Clarendon. Before it was a pub, the Rotterdam housed prisoners before transportation to Australia, and latterly it was a famous live music venue that was so popular it was whispered that members of the RUC and IRA would rub shoulders at the bar while pretending not to know who the other was. Backing on to the Rotterdam was Pat's Bar, the first pub in Belfast to host traditional Irish music sessions. The proximity of both meant in later years that the adjoining space, Barrow Square, was a draw for the patrons for the few days of the year that the weather was good enough for them to enjoy it. Planning proposals were submitted in 2019 and sought to demolish both these buildings, something that has been talked about for years, but thankfully at the time of recording there's no sign of these plans taking root. From spirits to the spiritual, each of the two broad denominations was served by a church in Sailor Town. The Grand Sinclair Siemens Presbyterian on Corporation Street, which is still open for business if you can apply such a term to a church, and St Joseph's a few doors down from Pat's Bar on Prince's Dock Street. It held its last mass in 2001 and is now deconsecrated, but is owned by a local regeneration group and used to host community events. And of course, it wouldn't be one of my videos without some railway lines thrown into the mix. These would have connected the docks to the colossal goods yard serving the Northern Counties Railway at nearby York Road Station. There's been much regeneration in the area in recent years, with new apartments being built on Pilot Street and the City Keys scheme bringing offices and hotels. But it's the more recreational side of life that I feel needs to return to give Sailor Town its vitality back. If people will go to Union Street for a pint and a pizza in the Sunflower, surely they would come back here. They can even rent a Belfast bike to get back into town afterwards. Alcohol intake permitting, of course. We can but hope. I hope you enjoyed this brief history of an often overlooked area of Belfast as ever. If you enjoyed this video, you may like some of the others on my channel. Please like, subscribe and comment, tell your family and friends and wherever I end up I'll see you the next time.